Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Dana again, and today you're at Research Road. This is a weekly series where we go through science and tech news with a bit of dry humor. Then we answer some questions from y'all. Today is the 15th of April, 2025, and on this date, in 1452, Leonardo da Vinci was born. Today is also National Take a Wild Guest Day, and it's National Tax Day. It's inadvisable to celebrate these at the same time. The IRS would probably get really mad. So, starting off with tech news. Researchers have discovered a method of recycling lithium-ion batteries that appears to capture 99.99% of the lithium. The same method captured more than 90% of nickel, cobalt, and manganese. Methods prior to this rarely broke 80%. This could be a huge development. What makes this even more interesting is that the reporting says the waste could actually be used as fertilizer. It's one of those reports that has so much good news it makes you skeptical. I'm sure this will be discussed all over the place, but China has reportedly suspended exports of rare earth minerals. The reporting says they suspended it across the board, not just the United States. I'm sure Bell is going to go into this in depth, but this is a big card to play in trade negotiations with all countries. Kawasaki has introduced a concept for a rideable horse robot. And now on to space. Katy Perry, along with a crew of women, went to space on a Blue Origin flight. NASA is extending a seat barter agreement with Roscosmos. Those are not aliens over West Texas. They're Starlink satellites. Now it's time to talk about the developing climate crisis. Central Washington State is in an emergency drought due to low snowpack. Even though it has increased output, OPEC has cut the demand forecast, citing the effects of Trump's tariffs on the global economy. U.S. regulators have ordered corrective action after a Keystone pipeline spill in North Dakota. Ukraine is working to repair the Chernobyl nuclear site's containment structure damaged by a Russian attack. U.S. wind power's growth has been revised down by 40%. Solar is still pushing ahead with record development. In related news in March, greener energy beat fossil fuels in monthly U.S. energy generation for the first time ever. The nuclear power boom is creating a demand for more investment in uranium mines. The Trump administration is looking at massive cuts to NOAA's climate research. That'll be something we end up regretting. In the world of animals, the Montana House voted down a bill that would have allowed wolf hunting into June. That would have extended the season into the middle of the denning and nursing period. There was an earthquake in San Diego, and the elephants formed an alert circle. That's when elephants circle around and shield the young. In health news, we're now at over 700 measles cases in the U.S. That's the highest number of cases since, well, the first Trump administration. In 2019, the number reached 1,274 cases. If that number is broken this year, it'll be the most since 1992. Reminder, it's April. Russia's birth rate plunged to a 200-year low. Maybe there's a contributing factor related to having hundreds of thousands of men removed from the country. Europeans outlive Americans, including the wealthy. Now let's dig up the past a little. It seems Malta was settled about a thousand years earlier than previously believed. It also looks like the earliest settlers were hunter-gatherers, not farmers. 400,000-year-old ivory tools were found in Ukraine, it's the earliest evidence of ivory-produced tools. Obsidian artifacts found in Alberta provide further evidence of an extensive indigenous trade network. And now on to oddities. Bottles of holy water from a well in Ethiopia might be contaminated with a bacteria that causes cholera. And now we're going to answer some of your questions, but first we're going to dive into rare earth minerals a little bit, because that seems like it's about to be really important. Rare earth minerals are naturally occurring minerals that contain one or more rare earth elements. Rare earth elements are a group of 17 chemically similar metallic elements. Despite the name, rare earth elements are not actually rare in terms of abundance in the earth's crust. 
However, they are rarely found in concentrated deposits that are economically feasible to mine, which is why they are considered rare. Rare earth elements are crucial in the production of many high-tech devices and green technologies. They are used in the manufacture of smartphones, flat-screen TVs, computer hard drives, electric vehicle motors, wind turbines, medical imaging devices, and military equipment such as precision-guided weapons. Specific elements have unique roles. For example, some are used in strong permanent magnets, while others are key components in fluorescent lighting and color displays. Mining and processing the minerals can be environmentally challenging, to say the least. The extraction process often involves toxic chemicals and can create radioactive waste, which can harm ecosystems if not properly managed. This has led to concerns about sustainability and has made some countries hesitant to develop their own resources. Currently, China dominates the global supply chain for rare earth minerals, controlling the majority of mining, refining, and production. This has raised strategic concerns for other countries that rely heavily on rare earth imports for technology and defense needs. Efforts are underway in the U.S., Australia, and other nations to diversify supply chains, develop alternative sources, and create more sustainable recycling methods. Researchers are also exploring substitutes for rare earths in some applications. These are materials the United States desperately needs. Okay, first question. So I have been listening to all that you have said, and it all makes sense to me, but then was presented with, have you heard about the pausing of tariffs, but increasing China's? Have you seen if the market rose because of this? Then a few moments later, yup, market manipulation. So could it also, and I say also as I don't believe this would be the sole reason, be that it is intentional market manipulation to help out himself and his buddies? There's a lot of speculation about this, and I'm sure we'll hear more about it as time goes on, but it's not something we can prove or say definitively. Does the United States have rare earth minerals? I was told this is critical to our military. So we have rare earth minerals, but we don't really have a lot of capability to process them. It is critical to a lot of military applications. Which Star Trek character do you most relate to? Uh, see, I know there's a puzzle about trying to figure something out, and I feel like this is going to be read into a lot, but my top three would be Devana Tendi or Jitsia Dax, or maybe Jordi LaForge. So there, I answered truthfully and in a way that was absolutely no help. I was really surprised to learn the rice and beans last as long as they do. I started looking for other foods that last a long time online, and there's a lot of conflicting information, and all the sites give a range of times not specific information. Help a sister out. Okay, so you get a lot of conflict in or less than specific information for two reasons. First is that nobody wants to take the liability of saying something will be good for X amount of years and then somebody getting sick. The other reason is that it really is a range. Temperature, humidity, how the food is stored, all drastically changes how long it stays good. Other foods to look into are honey, pasta, oats, freeze-dried foods, that hard candy your grandma had, a lot of canned meat like tuna, and the list really goes on and on. Which brings us to this week's quote, which is attributed to Isaac Asimov. Individual science fiction stories may seem as trivial as ever to the blinder critics and philosophers of today, but the core of science fiction is its essence— has become crucial to our salvation, if we are to be saved at all. So that's all the data we have to date. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again soon.